Sam's by the Beach is a favourite neighbourhood restaurant with exceptional Californian Mediterranean cuisine. Our appetizer dish we're going to be doing is the yellowfin tuna. This time of the year, our tuna is coming from here. It's a wild California yellowfin tuna. Uh, the technique I have, what we're going to be doing actually is tuna tartare. Uh, wonderful technique I learned from a Japanese chef. The best way to make your tartare is to take a nice little espresso spoon or a small spoon and instead of chopping your tuna, you go with the spoon and you try to take it apart. Just a little pieces. Your finished product should look like this. It's a wonderful tuna. The color is beautiful. Before I start doing my tuna, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Green onions, English cucumber, radish, and Italian parsley. You can make them a little julienne. Italian parsley, it's already Nice, finely chopped. This is my, what I call my secret ingredients on my uh, menu for my tuna tartare. Basically what it is, is a family recipe of making our own chili paste. That we use three different chilies, wonderful spices that we add to it, and we marinate it in olive oil. And we chill it for almost a week, then we use it after. And I'm not gonna use a lot because it's a little spicy. Again, kosher salt ground pepper and lemon juice. You don't want to put too much lemon juice because also lemon juice has got acid in it and will change the color of the tuna. It's all about keep the color beautiful and fresh and red. Simple mix. I like to alternate the ingredients that I'm using. Got my ring. And to finish it, take a little bit of my green onion, lemon, and here we have something really wonderful. And this is chive blossom. You can leave it as is for a decor, or you can just nip a little bit, and you leave a little bit on top. It has a nice flavor to it. I have my croutons. And just to finish it, a little touch of olive oil on the side. And the tuna tartare. Our main dish we're gonna be doing, we're doing our Wagyu uh, steak. We're gonna do classic one. It's a uh, black peppercorn uh, with the black peppercorn sauce. And we're gonna dust it with a little black pepper that we crushed a little peppercorn little kosher salt, little olive oil. The sauce we're gonna be making with this one also is the black peppercorn sauce. The black peppercorn sauce, is basically we're gonna have a little touch of butter, our little olive oil, little shallots, little fresh thyme, little salt, and little pepper. We have a little Dijon mustard and our red wine. We're gonna just go ahead and reduce it a little bit. For my vegetables, I like to take a little olive oil, rosemary, and a little fresh thyme. For the vegetable today, what we're going to be using usually, those are the combination I like to use. California golden beets, the rainbow carrot, and the baby asparagus. Prior to roasting them, we had them blanched a little bit in just salt water. The taro roots, which is also a wonderful root. You can substitute your potatoes. This is more like rare to medium rare. You can see the marble inside the meat. That's not fat, that's marble. That's what gives the meat flavor. And here is our finishing product. The Wagyu steak, the black peppercorn sauce with shallots and, chai and uh, thyme, taro roots, rainbow carrot, asparagus, and golden beans. My philosophy of food, when you prepare your food, when you serve your food, you have to be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. And especially true to the people like you want to sell to, your clients, your customers. Uh, you have so many choices in town, but when you discover something is all about the simplicity and the flavor, it's hard not to come back again. Mm -hmm. And that's been always my goal and my vision in the restaurant.
You know, what's so unique about the tartare is you definitely need to get a little taste, sorry, I made a mess That's over a, there. It's a great little trick, actually. Yeah. You just got Derek, one of my camera guys, in the eye. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's magnificent. And the flowers. Isn't it wonderful? You don't bring me flowers anymore. <laughs> It's wonderful, mm. the chai blossom it says, at, but you taste that little heat, that little mm. spice. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the flavor is still mm. going, isn't it? Before we eat, sorry, we've got to just take One more chin-chin. Chin-chin, yeah. chin, clink, clink. Thank you very yeah. much again. Mm. I never know it's how nice to get... start to open up the wine a How could you just drink one, one glass? You can't have one glass ever, can you? Well, you know, when, when you're so close to the, the ocean and the beach, it will be a crime to have only one glass. Mm. Because the worst thing can happen, you can just lay down on the sand for a little bit. Mm. That is sensational. A great job. I'm enjoying this fantastic food, so are you. The camera crew are salivating at the moment, <laughs> dribbling, which they always do anyway. But. For those who would like to know how to find out more about Sam's by the Beach, how do we do that? If you Google, if you just put Sam's by the Beach mm -hmm. anywhere in the world, in the country, the first thing co comes up mm -hmm. is, is our restaurant, my restaurant. And, and again, the reason why is just because there's so many people that have been here and they tried the food and they all have the same experience. When they leave, they always tell me, we can't wait to return. And, and there's no better marketing than that. I mean, word of mouth is, is absolutely the best. Thank you.